everybody, welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. We're playing some more mods today, and we got a fun one. Playable Final Bosses by Zalum, X-A-L-U-M. Uh, and this mod just adds some new characters into the game, basically, that are final bosses. It also adds some new curses, which I will uh, hopefully explain at least one of them here shortly. We're going to start by playing the first guy in the list, the Delirious Spirit. Ooh. And this is basically a boss playable boss of delirium which is kind of cool or delirious whatever uh the cool thing about this guy and i i suppose i, I suppose the cool thing is he starts with 5.5 damage which is a absolutely stupid amount of damage and i love it we get mr boom right off the bat if you want to play along 60 qv 8 z kz 8 z kz yeah that was a fun fun thing to say wasn't it uh but this guy starts with Curse of the Frail. What is Curse of the Frail, Tyler? Well, thanks for asking. Curse of the Frail is a uh, special curse added into the game in which uh, every hit that you take for the entire run is like you are you know, on the womb or beyond, so you're getting a full heart of damage. So we're actually down to two hearts right now because we got hit in that first room and it counted for a full, uh, full a lot of hearts, basically. I know that sentence didn't make a ton of sense. Are we going to get Mr. Boom twice on one floor? That would disappoint me. We didn't, so I'm very happy now. But yeah, this guy, uh, obviously he can also fly. And also, we have the uh, revamp special rooms mod on again. I think it's just going to be a staple that I keep this mod on because I really enjoy it. I think it adds a decent amount to the game just in terms of uh, giving me a little bit something different to look at <laughs> now. Making the rooms a little bit different uh, makes me a pretty happy camper. See, like, this is a brand new uh, super secret room that is a shop of sorts that looks like an old vanilla Isaac shop. So we'll pick up store key to come in here completely free. And then I think we place down a bomb here. Try to get some crap out of that. There is a tinted rock over here, so we'll crack into him. Get a spirit heart back. That's a good life. And then we will take safety scissors because I think that they are... Uh, better than shop key. It's nothing against shop key, but we already have. That was the stupidest damage I've ever had in my life. Uh, we can basically farm bombs from Littlehorn right now. Should we do that? I'll be honest with you. Part of me thinks, yeah, we should do this. We can basically get up to 99 bombs if we wanted. So I think I'll stop at like 10 and then I'll start trying. I mean, I'll, I'll continue to shoot this guy and then we'll just wait until... We get a certain amount of bombs and then just call it a day. But this is a pretty good situation for us. And a very odd synergy that I can't really say I expected. This has nothing to do with either of the mods that are on right now. Uh, which I find slightly ironic. And instead this is just a really awesome uh, moment in this run that you will never forget. I will never forget. And eventually we can have a good talk about. So that that's 13 bombs. Give me 14. Uh, 15. How about 16? Cool. Is he just in the phase where he's going to continue going up and down forever? You know what? I, I, I can say goodnight to that. We get wire coat hanger, which is very good. We spent some extra time on that floor, but we got, uh, you know, 19 bombs. That's a pretty good life, in my opinion. So here's our deal with the devil floor. Uh, obviously, the funniest thing that we could get is Lil Delirium and the other Delirium item, Delirious, I believe. That would be pretty humorous. I think that'd be funny. Uh, but otherwise, if you want to give me, like, you know, Guppy, that'd be okay. Even though we really don't need Guppy to be successful in this one. You know what? We got enough bombs. I don't think we need to carry safety scissors around anymore. I mean, safety scissors is still a good item, but might as well try and get some extra money every time we get hit. Like we just did right there. And now have enough money to... Think about the shop as a reasonable thing to go to, and we will go to it. Uh, place down a Mr. Boom. We do get this. I'll take Humble Bundle then. And we'll see if we can get something work with that. I'm not a big fan of the left hand, so we're not going to take that. Uh, I'll stick with my Swallowed Penny, give me more money item here. And Humble Bundle's going to help a lot with uh, getting consumables on this run. Which is still very positive. Now, it says we have Curse of the Frail there. I don't know if that is a Curse of the Frail for the floor, in which case it would double uh, our Curse of the Frail, or what. 
I, I think the answer to that is no, and we're just going to have one singular Curse of the Frail. I really don't want that item. But that would be really sucky if every time we got hit it took two hearts. But as you just saw right there, the answer to that is no it doesn't. So what do we want from the item room? I mean, this is the kind of run where since we're starting off so well in terms of damage and tears, it doesn't really feel like there's a whole lot that we actually even do want on this run. Do we want? No. I, I think the answer speaks for itself right there. Uh, but I think that it's an interesting run because we don't really uh, need anything early on except for like HP. So I suppose thank you for this tinted rock in this very odd secret room that I have no idea what's going on in. Thank you new special rooms mod for making it seem worthwhile to go to my special rooms. I am going to use Blue Baby's only friend here uh, to take out Monstro just because he's stationary and easy to kill. Give me an incredible deal with the devil. The answer to that is holy hell. Well, yeah, this counts as an incredible deal with the devil, to be honest with you. Here's what we're going to do. Uh, I mean, you're not going to get mad at me if I take Brimstone, right? I, I, this puts ourselves into a precarious situation. And I think that that's the true kicker here is, you know, you do it for the meme and make it where you could die in one hit now. It's definitely a little sketch, uh, but I think that this is, I just actually came in here before taking the golden key, and then it ended up being a bad item. I appreciate that a lot. We were definitely going to take Maw of the Void, but now I'm feeling pretty okay. Yeah, I will make my blue baby's only friend even better. And you know what? Let's, uh, actually, do we want to try and get the really awesome Dull Razor synergy? I'm going to take the battery, and then we're going to see if we can get a ton more money on this floor. With Humble Bundle, I'm not positive that that's going to be that difficult to do, frankly. That's that's four cents already. We got a reroll shop. We got our Maw of the Void charge bar. This is uh, honestly very annoying to look at, and I think that I'm going to go turn it off right now. I'm really not a big fan of charge bars being on. Okay, just, like, don't die on spikes. This is the kind of room that I can easily bite the dust in. And I would prefer to not. I mean, I suppose everybody would prefer to not die on their Isaac run. But me especially, since I'm recording it for YouTube and saying hello to everybody. Hello, everybody. Grace, she died 40 years ago. Okay. Here's our boss. Obviously, uh, I want to find the super secret room because they're really freaking good in this game. Screw this guy. Good night. <laughs> we will take our HP, uh, live happily, and go find the rest of the crap that I would like to find on this floor. We are going to spend a little extra time here uh, in the hopes of getting enough money to buy some more stuff from our uh, shop. And I have a feeling this is our super secret room. It is. It contains a crawl space, which is awesome. Uh, and crawl space contains this room which is not anything that i expected i had no idea you could move crawl spaces down like this i actually feel like i'm tripping right now uh i mean can't deny this is pretty damn cool i'm not positive how those rocks are floating but i'm not gonna talk about specifics here i'm just gonna move on and say that that was an enjoyable crawl space and i'm happy to have experienced it that's what you can get from the revamp special rooms mod it just changes the game uh, enough to make you notice just how much the game's rooms can be uh, improved. And it's not a knock on the game. You know, this is a game that I've played for a stupid amount of hours, for a stupid amount of everything all time. You know, I like Isaac a lot, and I will continue to play it even if the room layout sucks. <laughs> But I will probably be keeping uh, revamp room layouts mod on forever. So if you don't like it, uh, you don't like NBA basketball at King's Announcer. But if you don't like it, you uh, you should check it out anyway. Because I think you will like it in the future. We are going to go... I mean, do we want to go to the curse room? I think at this point, why not? There's nothing really telling me that, hey, Tyler, you shouldn't go to this curse room. We also have enough money to 
buy the dull razor and then another possible item from that synergy and if you don't know what synergy i'm talking about shameless plug to the greatest synergy ever video on my channel so let's take dull razor uh and then we'll bomb this guy until we get what we need which is hopefully going to arrive those are both really good items but we can't blank card also a very good item those are subpar items but okay anyway uh, you know what? I think that this is a great time to just say goodbye, uh, leave the floor, and pretend like there wasn't anything of value ever that we passed up, even though everything was of value. So you're probably like, Tyler, why the hell did you take Doll Razor? Honestly, this is a decent strategy by me anyway, because we can now basically do Curse Rooms completely free. Uh, we can play blood banks and crap completely free and this is going to basically oh god there goes like everything i've ever loved i'm trying to adjust myself in my chair because my back decided to start spasming not that you need to know that but you know here we are so curse room walk in open these chests say oh hey we got more hp dull razor walk out and all of a sudden you're looking real pretty triple stone chest if this does not give an item i'm about to like say damn why didn't i get an item but we did get an item so never mind okay this guy's a little bit annoying but we do have you know brimstone so that makes it slightly easier ow uh we will be taking greed's not greed's gullet uh sack of sacks in my head i was like oh dude sack of sacks is gonna be so good for us just giving us more money more consumables everything will be doubled and then my brain said no that's greed's gullet it's definitely not Greed's goal, Tyler. Alright. Took some hits in that room. That's okay, though. We do have Curse of the Darkness. My dearest apologies if you can't see. If I remember, I'll boost the brightness up on the video. But like I've said 900 times in the past, there's a good chance that it's just not going to happen. It's not that I don't love you. It's that I don't love myself. Never have, never will. Okay. To all the new people on the uh, channel, once again, also, damn, there's your brightness, peeps. Uh, for all the new people on the channel, welcome, my friends. Welcome to my living nightmare. I uh, really appreciate you guys stopping in and subscribing. The channel's been doing great, and I wanted to welcome all the new people. Also, all the nude people. If you're watching this video and you are just laying around in the nude right now, first, please don't let me know in the comments. I really do not want to know that at all. Uh, but two... You live your life, man. Like there's no tomorrow. Okay. So play that. And by play that, I mean bomb that. Also bomb that. And then let's doll razor once. Get two plays out of this. Doll razor again. Get two plays out of this. And now you're going, damn, Tyler's a genius. Who knew that doll razor... Wow, I can't see the map now. Who knew that doll razor would be the greatest synergy in the world for us? And the answer is, I didn't even know. Super secret room? No. I want to, like, explore all the super secret rooms now, man. I also want to explore every crawl space ever. Because the crawl spaces are dope. Okay, second to Gav's rune. That's now, basically, we struck out twice in a way. And it still was just like, nah, fam, I got you. Okay, this, this room. What's going on in this room right now, huh? That was a little weird. I completely forgot we haven't even been to our item room and shop on this floor. So very happy to see these. Uh, never mind, honestly. I have no reason to ever want to see that ever again. Our shop contains... Oh, so many good items. You keep on tempting me with blank card. Trust me, I want to take you. I also would love to take Diplopia. Can we find a good use for Diplopia on this floor? Like an incredible deal with the devil. It's the frail. The frail's gonna look real frail here in a second because we're about to destroy it. Yeah, good night, frail. Uh, no deal with the devil. We can duplicate HP, which I'm gonna be honest with you, not really feeling. Uh, do you give up on Dull Razor? I know we literally were just praising it as the second coming, but I'm not necessarily. Does this give us? No, not yet. I thought it might give us bookworm but i suppose we're one book away from that you know what i'm gonna give it a chance give love a chance and then you know i screw it i, I was gonna say let's go back and play the uh 
blood bank some more but like who cares honestly let's just move on we got enough money and who needs the hp from it in the random chance of blood bag popping out who cares bloody lust i will take though as more damage never hurt anybody then again i'm not really planning on ever getting hit on the rest of this run lol that's hilarious tyler uh you absolutely will also we're gonna go fight delirium on this run because we are Delirium, so I want to fight him. That's how we're going to do each of these uh, guys. And yes, that does mean I will be pay playing Greed Mode for the first time in like a freaking four months uh, to use Midas in that run. So get pumped for that. I'm not super excited about it. And I will do Greedier Mode. That's how much I'm willing to screw everything, basically. And, and you'll see that... We're actually going to be sitting pretty in green mode with uh, Midas because he, hint, hint, starts with a Midas touch tier, which is overly powerful when you're doing green mode. So it'll be fine, uh, and it'll be fun. But we're not concerned about Midas right now. We're concerned about freaking Delirious Spirit here. And Delirious Spirit, granted, uh, is doing, like, just okay right now. And when I say just okay, I'm not trying to belittle this run, uh, because this run is really freaking good. Now, uh, we've got 7.19 damage, Brimstone, and Ma of the Void. I don't know why I said Ma so weird there. Hey, Ma, can I get your Void? Ma, where's your Void? Alright, well, War, what is it good for? Absolutely nothing. We'll take Cuba Meat, and then our deal with the Devil contains... Some weird stuff. We're going to take this guy. We're not going to take the shovel. Even though there's a large party in that was like, you know, you can get a bunch of crawl spaces. That'd be fun. People would love to see new crawl spaces. But then I'd have to carry the shovel around with me. And that's just like, you know, I'm, I'm good, honestly. So let's continue to explore, though. I would still obviously love to find our shop. If we can ever get the dull razor synergy to work how uh, one would want it to. Then that'd be cool. Super secret room. Super secret room. Is there a place for the super secret room down there? Uh, yeah, probably. We'll go back and check in the one room. And Blue Bay's only friend is still going to be quite useful for us. Black heart is fine. I'm saving this, uh, we might do boss rush on this one as well. If there's, you know, a semi-decent item. But I'll save the... Magician card for a boss fight in which I feel threatened and I can just stand in the corner and do nothing Here's our shop. I mean this could also be the super secret room. It was so that's cool. Uh blue candle is subpar Oh another crawl space. Hell yeah, okay. It's a black market. Hell yeah And the black markets can be new as well uh, as this one was basically reversed reverse reverse yeah, let's take big flies. How do you like your flies? I like them big. And then we'll take that. We can play this guy a little bit. You know, and I, utilize, I know the fact that I forgot to pop Dull Razor there for a second. But I want to play this guy with regular HP as well. Just to try to... Uh, yeah, there you go. Demon Baby. Thank God we did all that for Demon Baby. We have 22 keys as well. We might as well play this guy. Why not, man? I, I really thought he was never going to pay out at this point. Well, apparently, we're just going to say goodnight to him anyway. <laughs> Rest in peace, that guy. Uh, why did my damage go up to 15? Uh, bloody lust. That's the reason why. Probably should have recognized that. Uh, is there really any reason for us to stick around on this floor? The answer to that is no. Let's head down to the next floor and then hopefully make it to Boss Rush and find the teleport card sometime on this run and then teleport out of it and uh, get a free item and then move on with our day. And obviously we will be doing the Hush fight. I really did not want this to be a reroll. Hey, huge growth. When do you want to use this? That's a good question, Tyler. Let's use it right now probably like Tyler really yep I wanted to kill those two pots sure we will take big chubby this is going to be basically the easiest room in the world to defeat anyway you might as well take a free item out of it so big chubby he put in the work right there 
one might say that he's actually the greatest item in the game. You know, I tend to agree with that statement, but I do know that there are some people out there, Blasphemous I know, but some people out there that just do not enjoy having a big chubby. Me, on the other hand, totally okay with it. Alright, what do we got in here? Burkano and the guys. We will take both of them. Now, does that cure Curse of the Frail? I don't know. I don't think so. But we will, uh... Oh, dude! We actually have the best synergy in the world. Dull Razor activates Bloody Lust. Whoa! That's why my damage was so good on the last floor. But, like, seriously, this is a astronomically good uh, synergy now. And we'll be popping Dull Razor at every giveable moment. As we just continue to stack up a crap load. Uh, yeah, our cap is at 15, but, like, that's still an incredible synergy, man. Yeah, we'll take it. My brain was like, that's a bad item, Tyler. Don't take that with Brimstone. But then it's like, you know what? Faster charge rate on Brimstone works for me, man. Red Hearts. It's the first super secret room that I've been like, hmm, yeah, that one sucked. I do want to find our shop before we go to our boss fight and also our item room, but more importantly, our shop, the Emperor. That is a teleport card out of boss rush, so we gotta roll with it. And then just find the item room like now-ish and the shop like now-ish, and would you look at that. It's almost like the game was listening to me. So come in here. We get an attack fly. Uh, we get the Beelzebub transformation. Not that that's valuable to me at all. Mystery gift. Just pop it out here. And we get Parasitoid. Which I'm fairly certain does literally jack all for us on this run. And I'm bomb this guy. Get some money. And then let's go fight mom real quick. And by real quick, I'm serious. Like, this is going to take several seconds to kill mom. Which is going to be enjoyable. And you know what? Might as well just hurt ourselves uh, to hurt mom with less difficulty. And boom, she's dead. We'll take the Polaroid, because uh, it doesn't matter. We're going to hush anyway, not the end of the game. Wow, these are all horrible, huh? Uh, give me a freaking PhD. It's like pretty bad. I can see forever. Cool. Good for you. Uh, let's teleport out of here, and let's head down to the next floor. So we'll be going to Hush, like I've said, 9 million times already this run. Uh, and we just got to make it through the Womb 1 in order to make it there. And I'm a little bit concerned about the Hush fight, but I'm also kind of like, you know, we've done the Hush fight 9 million times. Even if our HP is low, who cares? Like, we should still be able to do it pretty easily. We for sure have the consumables. I will take this. It's Ares, which is a 0.25 speed upgrade, which I suppose is not necessarily uh, insignificant for our run. It's pretty insignificant, but I at least feel like we've gained some benefit on this run by coming into this room. It made me better at Isaac as a person, so that's all that matters. That card is a Judgment, which we will pop down and then blow up for a better deal with the Devil Chance. Okay, 85 is pretty good. I'm happy to have it. And then, I mean, basically just let me find the boss now. What the hell with this room? That was a little unexpected, if I'm being honest with you. Cool. We don't need money. I mean, if we're being serious here, we're going to step down onto the blue womb and get, like, from those initial four chests, enough money to buy anything from the shop anyway. So why do I really care about getting up to 99 right now, even though I'm probably still going to? Ow. Okay, Tyler, now you're starting to reach a point where, like, you might die. So don't, don't do that. We'll take Bible Tract, why not? I think that's a better chance of Eternal Hearts. Eternal Hearts are not necessarily a bad thing for us on this run, as some HP would be okay. We get a Spirit Heart and a Moon card, which I'm going to probably just use after this room. Strength card. You know what? No, we're going to keep the Strength card. Because there's no reason not to. And then you're going to pop that once. Have it break. Cool. Really glad we wasted a uh, key on that. Super secret room, please? No. 
Where do you think the super secret room is? Probably off of this guy. I mean, it very well could be right here. The secret room could be right here. Wow, yeah, okay, we got doubled. So lost fly is really bad. And then three sacks containing a card, which is another freaking judgment. We'll just blow him up. Don't get the better deal with the devil chance, but we still get uh, some good stuff anyway. And then frankly, we're just going to chariot right here and kill him like this. And then dull razor and slam your... Oh, no! <laughs> Look. <laughs> what are the odds, man? Okay, well, I mean, that's a deal with the devil and also an item that we will never get back. Kind of sucks to suck, if I'm being honest, but... I suppose that's okay. I would like to get slightly more uh, HP before going down to the hush fight. Do I think that that's necessarily going to happen? No. Now, I'll look for Tinted Rocks, but that chance seems relatively low at this stage of the game. Not that it really scales at all from stage of the game, I don't think. If it does, it'll freaking screw me, I guess. Red Hearts. Dark Bomb would be a great addition to this run, by the way. So we can make that happen, make it happen. Moon card, just pop it. We get some pills, which scare me a little bit except for the fact that we can see what they are so never mind why did i do this room that's a really fantastic question kind of thought that it was uh a cursed room okay dull razor the fact that we got dull razor permanent polaroid invincibility it oh, it literally like it never told me that it was gonna end that was some crap honestly oh well what are you gonna do Sometimes life kicks you in the rear. This is one of those cases. Three hearts. I mean, we're still doing hush. If we die on this run, we die on this run. You know, I know that I gave it my all to go do delirium on a run that really did not deserve to have delirium done on it. Basically because no run ever deserves to have delirium done on it. But it's beside the point. Wow, there's literally an entire floor of just zero special rooms. Hopefully our super secret room gives us uh, a shop super secret room. That'd be awesome. We have a ton of money. Make it happen. We come in here. This, this confused me a lot. But sure, we'll take these very few things and then leave. That room was a little glitchy. I'm not going to lie. A little bit strange. Just pop Dull Razor a bunch to get the damn damage from it. Samson's lock would actually also be very good. So take that as well. Since I believe that will proc from uh Dull Razor. Cool. Uh sack contains the sun card. Which I think is better than I can see forever, so we're going to stick with that. We get a random black heart off of uh Ma the Void. Ma the Void! Who's void? We don't deserve a deal with the devil here, quite honestly. We didn't get one. Uh, so let's just head down to Hush and then cry when we die. Who's excited? I am. Okay, we get a bunch of items. We get HP. It'll ruin permanent Polaroid invincibility if we do that. So I'm not super, uh, super excited to do that. And probably won't for now. Oh, we can get a little chubby to go with big chubby, but I'm going to take brother Bobby because I believe we are now one familiar away from conjoined, and that would be some wild stuff. We do actually have the almost synergy <laughs> for uh, the stupid dull razor crap, so that's, that's very, very strange. Uh, we will take this, and then why not just take these because we can. Okay, uh, look for a crawl space? That sounds okay to me. Glad, glad you guys suggested it. I know that everybody loves when I bomb every rock in here, every hush fight, to try to look for a crawl space that inevitably will not be there. I will be taking, uh, blood bag here as well. Now that we don't even have a charge on Doll Razor, we might as well. So take this bad boy. It will put us up to two speed, I believe. Yeah, it does. 
And now we come in here, uh, and we fight Hush, despite being a little bit scared of this fight. I think there's a decent chance that we could die. I think that we will not. I think we're going to be A-OK. -okay. Uh, but I'm not leaving it out of the question that we could die here. I, I actually am not going to deny Big Chubby is probably a decent damage dealer in this kind of fight. And we will try to generate as many black flies. I wanted to say black hearts, but then I wanted to say flies, so it almost came out as black farts. And that definitely is not what we're looking for. Uh, but we're going to try and generate as many flies... As, God damn it. As many black hearts... Oh, Lord. Stop taking damage, Tyler. Uh, as many black hearts as we can from Hush's blue flies. There you go. I tried so hard for that one. Okay. We can pop Dull Razor a lot in the hopes of getting the ability... Okay, here they are. And let her rip, boys. Let her rip. Black hearts. There's one. One is better than none. What's mine is yours, and what's yours is Blackheart. Yeah, that's another one, boys. Okay, we can just continue doing that. We got high luck. Uh, and I'm not positive if this even scales with luck. But if it does, uh, we got high luck, and hopefully we can do good stuff with that. Okay, so hit them with a brim first. And then this is where Maw the Void comes in. Wrecks all of them and creates zero Blackhearts out of it. I'm glad that that luck really uh, worked out well there. Ow. Okay. Dull Razor, do your thing. We're now at, I believe, the... Oh my god, we actually died. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and we'll be back playing the playable Final Bosses mod in the next video. See you guys.